Hey there, welcome to the James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3. If you want to join the conversation, phone number is the same as it is for all of our local shows here. 800-288-9227. 800-288-WBAP. So if I'm already in your phone or if you already have the number in your phone for the, like the morning show or Casey or Chris Croc, it's the same phone number. 800-288-9227. So uh, one of our local guys that has blown up, Dr. Phil, has splint- splintered off and made his own network. And on this, Dr. Phil seems to be unleashed a little bit. Now, you and I know Dr. Phil is the guy who's given hard scrabble advice, uh, starting out on the Oprah show, and then he had his own daytime talk show after that. And look, I know daytime talk shows aren't aimed at for me. You know, I'm a middle-aged dude. Uh, I found Dr. Phil's show about the most compelling one possible out of that whole crew. But, but surprisingly, I'm kind of a fan. Like Drew Barrymore's show, not bad. Kelly Clarkson's show, really good. For someone who's by trade a singer, I'm impressed. I'm impressed when Dr. Phil can have a, a successful career as a clinician, as a doctor who goes out and actually does therapy sessions with people and helps them work through their issues, and then turn around and be a broadcaster and, and host a show and, and be compelling and convincing and sound good. That's amazing. I'm amazed by people that can do that because I can't do too. I can do this, but I couldn't also be a clinician. Same thing with Kelly Clarkson. She um, amazing voice just naturally. Apparently, she's had some coaching somewhere along the way because she really knows how to push it. Really talented, picks great songs, great stage presence, love her to death. Then she turns around and she does a talk show. And I look, I get a little abrased at this. Oh, people think you can just come in and do my job. It's not that easy. Well, Kelly Clarkson can do it really good. So. That, that kind of explains why I'm so impressed with Dr. Phil. But also, make no mistake, if you go check out some of this new stuff that he's done, because he's only had this network going for, what, two months now. This dude is taking off any mask or pretenses or ankle weights that he had, and he is running. He is letting his opinions fly like you have never seen before, and you're probably going to like it. Now, Dr. Phil also tries to stay non-political, but so many of the big issues of the day and the topics that that come up on his show necessarily have a political angle. And when he gives his thoughts on on what's going on with the, the lawfare situation, and this is more specifically his response to Donald Trump's guilty verdicts from last week, he tries to do the balancing act like, hey, you know, on both sides, Let's let's be calm and stop this. So you'll hear that, but make no mistake. He probably agrees with you more than the other side. But th- this was from his show. I believe this was Friday. I don't like what I see happening in our country. This kind of thing is exactly why I launched Merritt Street Media and wrote, we've got issues. I don't like seeing the weaponization of our justice system, agencies and powerful government actions that frankly just make my skin crawl for all of us and for my grandchildren. And let's be honest, this is so not just about Trump. If you let your hatred for Donald Trump compromise your ability to find true north on your moral compass, shame on you. If you let your disgust for Biden make you blind to the inevitable consequences of pursuing revenge, then God help the children who will inherit the dystopian nightmare we create. We need leaders who will pledge to end this vicious cycle right now and return us to that safe place where our institutions are no longer bastardized and weaponized, but rather simply serve their intended purpose. And see, that's not the easy approach to take. It's not real popular to, to do what is, philosophically speaking, a turn, your, turn the other cheek approach. Yes, they did lawfare against you. Yes, they abused the court system. They got a rogue judge and a rogue prosecutor and uh, some awfully sympathetic jury pool members and yeah even though what you see is a travesty committing a similar travesty in the other direction only perpetuates the injustice now that is really hard to say not because it's not right but because it's not popular you know it's popular you know what people want to hear oh they did this to you well we're going to go hit them back 10 times harder oh they they don't want to start this because they don't know we'll do the same thing to them oh if this is how it's going to be then we can play that game too. 
And this is Dr. Phil saying, no, I know that's your instinct. I know what it feels like because we're all, you know, animals with this human facade over it. And when someone punches you in the face, your first instinct, rightfully so, could be to punch them right back. But what you do there is there's an attempt to start a fight and you solidified the idea that there's going to be a fight. If there's a punch and you don't punch back, well, then the fight might be over. But also, any independent third party watching the exchange will know who's the bad guy and who's the good guy. Now, I don't know if Dr. Phil is saying, well, we should just sit back and do nothing. I doubt that's in his uh, his response. I doubt that is his advice. What I heard is don't turn around and perpetuate this lawfare and because the second you use it back, uh, back against them, then it's going to be the rule from here going forward. And it's not the world we want to live in. We want to go back to the world before lawfare. And we're not going to go there by using lawfare. And it has some of the same logical resonation, re- resonance, I should say, as uh, the people who say, uh, you, you know, if you want to get rid of racism, we need a, in affirmative action. Well, wh- what kind of sense does that make? Well, if you want people to stop be, being judged by the color of their skin, we probably need to end this program that judges people by the color of their skin. So Dr. Phil gave me something to think about. I'm not saying he's right. I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm just saying I'm still thinking about it. And I like this new Dr. Phil. I want to see more of this dude. What do you think? 800-288-WBAP, 800-288-9227. This is the James Show, News Talk 820 WBAP, now on FM at 93.3.